it just brings a sense of relief that when that call comes through, um, that we'll have support. A decades-old decision is one step closer to having an outcome in Champaign County. Tonight, Savoy Board of Trustees approved an agreement giving the village more than $860,000 in county funds. Good evening, I'm Brendan Morano. And I'm Karina Rubio. Village officials want to use that money to convert the train crossing at Curtis Road and Dunlop Avenue into a viaduct so cars can pass under the tracks. WCI3's Ariana Williams is with us. Ariana, you were at that board meeting tonight. Why do they want to do this? This idea has been a topic of conversation for a long time, but village officials say they never had the money to do it. It will help with traffic flow for drivers in Savoy and Southern Champaign and with response time in emergencies, which has been a problem for the village in recent years. The village of Savoy has been wanting to make traveling in the area easier without having to drive around the train tracks. There have been times when our fire trucks or Police vehicles or ambulances have had to respond to the east side and they've been held up by the train. They've been working on securing money to build a way to go under it, building an underpass at the intersection of Curtis Road and Dunlap Avenue. We understand the infrastructure that that supports, but we also have needs as residents here, safety needs and safety concerns as well. The need for the viaduct was highlighted in 2021. When a train prolonged firefighters' response time to a house fire off Dunlap Road, the house was destroyed. Our worst fear came to life for someone, for, for a village resident, for a friend, you know, a community member as well. That's one of those things that we were like, we knew it was going to happen one day, and, and unfortunately it had to. It will certainly enhance public safety. Village officials say the approval for the 862000 county dollars isn't a green light for the overall project. It's one step closer to a broader grant agreement the board would have to vote on separately. Communities all come together, pick their goals they want to go for and then each community supports those goals and we try to help each other out so this is a perfect example of that. Other village trustees are concerned with potential inflation. Brown says if everything goes as planned construction can start as early as 2026 and be completed by 2028. All right, Ariana, thank you. The agreement would see that Champaign County provides the 862000 to the village to fund the Curtis Road grade separation and complete streets project. Those county dollars will be added to the $22 million federal dollars Savoy was awarded in July of last year.